Hey, Raw Stars, it's me, Tiffany Roth. I am so pumped to be here talking about the retreat. I have my friend, the businesswoman, and former client, uh, Adrian Venable, here to talk to you about her process. But first, let me just dive into the subject matter at hand, which is you get to revive your life. And we are going to Costa Rica. And you guys, if you've been following me, you know that I'm super excited about this. And I just want to get the retreat. Um, booked up with people who have like-minded energy, who want to level up so that when we're there, we can get the best possible outcome. So we are going to Costa Rica this July, the 22nd to the 27th, and it's to revive our lives, to elevate ourselves mentally, physically, and emotionally in Costa Rica. So I called Adrian. I'm like, Adrian, right? Do you want to go to this retreat? You know, because, you know, I want these kind of this vibing entrepreneurs, positive women there. So just take it to the process, Adrian. It's going to be hard for me not to call her V. That's my name. <laughs> v. Okay. <laughs> oh, well, it's, I come from a place of just kind of I'm very impulsive. That's definitely, I don't do a whole lot of research. Um, when I look at things I want to do, I kind of am like, I look at the, um, the amount and I'm like, can I swing it? And then I just like go from there. I don't ask a lot of questions. I'm a pretty easy sell when it's something I'm vibing on. And um, I don't even know if you remember that I went on one of your first retreats in the desert. Yeah, like, <laughs> so that was a long time ago, but I remember you just do, I mean, everything you do is always so first class. You've got amazing taste and you are so thoughtful about all the things and you kind of, because you're a person who likes a high end experience, you deliver the same thing. And, um, it was not like a big yes, because I was just like, well, of course it's going to be amazing. I, any time spent in the space with Tiffany is like next level. And, uh, I'm just grateful that we've known each other for a hundred years and that yeah. I'm still on your radar. It's been a long time so I think that um I think that the thing is is that a lot of times we drag our feet on saying yes to something important for ourselves because we we get caught in the questions we caught caught in the cycle of the what ifs and the what if and why what if what if what if it was the best thing you ever did I mean because I think there's rarely do we regret what we say yes to we mm -hmm. usually regret what we say no to Ooh, and I um I have a funny story. I went to, uh, I met somebody in 2016 and she was like having a retreat in Tulum. And I was like, Oh, I I've been to Tulum. I was like, <laughs> I was like, I'd like to go back. And, and so I kind of did the same thing. I didn't really know her, know her, but I, I did the thing like, can I afford it? I could afford it. So I took a week off and, um, to know me as like, I was in the restaurant industry, like taking a week off was like a big deal. I took lots of vacations, but rarely was it like a Monday to Sunday kind of thing. I would always kind of take three days, four days, five days, whatever. So I get to the, um, Cancun airport and I'm like, that was the first time I was like, you didn't really think this out at all. Like <laughs> who is going to be there? Like, who am I spending a week with? Like, uh -huh. what did you just do? Cause what if I'm with like a bunch of people I cannot stand? Like, uh -huh. I was like but I didn't think about it at all until literally I'm in the airport and I'm like, um, uh -huh. so anyways, everyone lands, it ends up being an amazing experience. I ended up going the next year to it. It's actually how I got my business. Uh, I'll tell that story in another minute, but, um, so anyways, like it was the best, one of the best decisions ever, but it was kind of impulsive and it was kind of like, oh, like this feels good. Um, I have a, um, if anyone's into human design, I have a sacral um, decision maker, which is just if I, my gut feels it, you go mm -hmm. with it. Um, and for the most part, that has served me really well. I mean, every once in a while it doesn't, but for the most part, I think that's again, saying yes and to yourself and experiences. And I think a lot of times, especially people with families, they kind of build vacations around the family or their spouse or, or their kids. And it's like, okay, when's the last time you just did something for yourself? I think there's yes. a big um, trend in solo vacations and, and getting off. It just is a different experience when you only have you to please in a lot of ways when that's it's just so you know, all about you. Yeah. I love that. And that's really the essence of the retreat. You said something that I want to go back to, which is we rarely regret the things that we say yes to, but we do regret the things that we say no to, especially when it's something that you really want to do, but you're saying no, usually out of scarcity or lack of worthiness. 
And, and that's why I wanted to bring you on with your energy. Like, I'm a person like you, I'm a spontaneous person. I'm like, do I want to do it? Yes, let's do it. Like, and you know, and it's usually always going to be a good experience, but this is really a, a momentum that's going for women, right? 50 plus that are still dynamic and in the creative mode and generating health and wealth that they get to put themselves at the top of the list because, you know, for our whole lives, you know, things have come before, whether it's work or school or men or families or whatever, they come before. And this is our time to shine right now. And nothing is more important than saying to yourself, yes, I'm worth it. Yes, I'm worth the time. I'm worth the money. And I'm worth the value that I'm going to get from it. Like just being about leveling myself up personally, interpersonal skills. It's such a signal to the universe too, when you say yes to yourself, because it's like a whole trickle down effect happens mm -hmm. of, of what else is possible and, um, and the commitment to yourself. I think I've been on a, uh, self-development trend. I, I can't even remember not being on one. Mm -hmm. Um, but just it, the time you take to get away from like your, whatever, you know, surroundings you're in, the four walls that you spend your time in. I spend most of my time sitting on this island all day working. Mm. And it's like to get out of this space to, you know, leave responsibility, leave just, you know, and have like a totally, it's just so, oh, it's like, it's so exciting because it just changes the energy, the shift, you different thoughts come into your head, you know, different food comes into your body, yeah. you know, just out of that routine uh, that, um, you know, you, we just, we all get caught up in life is life. And, you know, I think that breaking that cycle is how new things come in because you've got to break out of the, Oh, I get my coffee from here and I get this yeah. breakfast from here. And, you know, I like my smoothie from mm -hmm. here and, you know, and, um, and, you know, I work out here, like, this is how I work out. And, and whatever. So I think that, you know, breaking that, like those routines is how, sh you know, change happens and getting together with women is so powerful. I came from a collective of, um, and I don't even know how I healed it because I went to all girls Catholic school and mm -hmm. had a lot of like trauma um, with women and like just really, you know, bullied and, and um, not supported at all. And somehow I went to sorority in college and it just all like faded away and women are my favorite, you know, it's like, I, you know, having a girl who's got your back, who will be your advocate, your champion. You know, I went to a thing yesterday that was like, look for advocates, not for mentors. And I was like, yes, yes. like it's, you want someone who's like building you up and, and has your name in their mouth in a positive way and is always looking to celebrate you and support you. And I think that's the filter I live through life in is like, how can I push joy into you. Like, how can I let you see your light? I think so many women, we're so caught up in what's next, what's next, what's next. And that's probably the human thing too. But it's so many times women are in a place that they wanted years ago and they're yeah. there, but it's not like, nope, I need more. Like, mm -hmm. you know, and that is the human condition to some degree, but it's like, Hey, have you celebrated where you are in your business? The fact that, yeah. you know, you're making X amount, that was an amount you had on your vision board two years ago. Mm -hmm. But instead you get there, it's not enough. You want yeah. more and all you can do is focus on the thing. So I'm always really big on, especially with my clients, like celebrate how far you've come because, you know, I had a, one person, I go, they had a location for their business and they had a, a, you know, a modality they did. I go, that's huge. You've got the location and yeah. the modality. Now the marketing piece is easy. Now we just got to get the word out. But if you backed it up to like, oh, I need a location that's overwhelming oh, I need a solution. I don't even know what to teach or what wait, to share. Wait, wait, or what wait, my wait. I'm going to back you up a minute because like, you know, she's talking, she's dropping some gems right here. I'm going to give you opportunity because people are like going, well, what is their business? Um, we're going to get into that in a minute. But you said some things I just want to go back and repeat. Um, so, and, and this is a lot of things that I coach on too. Like when you don't celebrate your wins, you forget that you're a winner. Right. And then when you forget that you're a winner, you get sort of stuck in this, like being not enough and lack of worthiness. So it's, you know, it's key what you said that you celebrate your wins. And, and you also said, what's next? Now it's really great to do what's next because progress is happiness. We get our joy when we, you know, we overcome when we accomplish something, but we do the what's next in being in the now. And that's what I, that's what being the retreat is going to do for you. So like, what you said, it was exactly how I live and many other entrepreneurs and people who work at home are, we stay in the same environment all the time. And if you stay in the same environment, 
you tend to get the same stimulation, like you said, the same food, the same habits, and it's hard to level up from the same environment that you're accustomed to. So when you come to a whole new place, which Costa Rica is a blue zone, which I just found out about, which I'm super excited because I didn't know that when I picked the place, but it's like the place where people live the longest. And if you think about being in the rainforest and the oxygen and working out outside and the waterfalls and overlooking the ocean, like all that stuff is so rich in nutrients and oxygen and vitality that of course it's going to be life expanding. So coming to the retreat is an the environment that you need. Now, here's the other thing that you said. You went on vacation and we go, we all like to go on vacations and maybe like, I don't know whether it's a cruise or if you want to go see a, you know, one of the famous monuments or historic events, but this allows you to be on vacation and still be in the personal development journey. Like this mm -hmm. is the match that is in heaven. Like you're on vacation, but you're still leveling yourself up. It's not about like the place. It's not about um, the alcohol. It's not about the party. It's about how do I fill my cup in this beautiful space while on vacation so that when you leave, you are rejuvenated, you are revived. So I love you for, for pointing those ideas out. Now you also had some amazing gems that you were talking about your clients. So I kind of know what you do, which is extraordinary, but can you just like fill us in a little bit about what you do? Absolutely. But I want to say one more thing if, for people who have been in self-development and have done workshops or um, conferences and things like that. Those are great, but there really is no, I, I've gotten the most results and the most growth out of these incubators of like one week containers where you really are in it. And it just is really such a um, special uh, space to really give yourself a week to like uh, learn and integrate and evolve and grow. And it just, and the, the connections you make are lifelong. The people I went to retreat with, I still are dear friends mm -hmm. to this day. So I, it is a different experience from, you know, more like going to a, um, a ballroom at a hotel or something yeah. and, you know, like being cold and, <laughs> <laughs> and with thousands eight, of people, like with thousands of people. So yeah. like, yeah, this is like such a different thing. So I, um, I do social media marketing. I also do help people with their brand development, their brand voice um, and business strategy. Kind of circling back on how I got my business. I, uh, the second year of the retreat I went on in Tulum, she asked me to do her social media. I didn't know what I was doing. I knew I liked social media. And so I was winging it. And so I was pulling pictures from Pinterest, which if you mm. don't know, that's like, not like, you're not supposed to do that. <laughs> so like totally like breaking laws. Like I'm like, but it's on Pinterest. Why can't I use that picture? So, and, but you know, just like learning how to use copy to like, um, to make connections with people, to help them, you know, inspire, to make a, you know, a different, to click on a link, to look at, to look at something deeper, to ask for a discovery call, whatever the, the call to action is. Mm -hmm. So, um, and then through that, like, you know, I always had like a background where people would be like, oh, you would know the answer to this, or you'll know this. And I keep resources in my head like crazy. And so I finally figured out how to like take those resources and leverage it into like, you know, a business. Mm -hmm. to work and I have a, um, a knack for being able to plug into people's businesses, even if I don't know anything about it. I can like get, cause business is business. The widget is the widget, like whatever mm. you're saying, you're selling your services. It really doesn't matter. It but just becomes about who's the ideal client. What do they need? How do you connect them to like seeing themselves in the solution you're providing? Yeah. And that really is the simple breakdown of what, um, what sales so, and marketing is. So if somebody is. wanted to, to reach you, how would they reach you? The best way is on my uh, Facebook, Adrian Venable, just my personal Facebook. Um, that's where I spend a lot of time. And okay, so uh, wait, 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 let's spell that. Adrian, A-D-R-I-E-N-N-E. -N -N -E. -E. <laughs> and uh, Venable, Venable, B is E. <laughs> N-A-V-L-E. V-E-N-A-V-L-E. Um, that's why I call her V. So A-D-R-I-E-N-N-E, -N -N -E, Venable, V-E-N-A-B-L-E. I'll also put it in the description box. He's on Facebook. Um, I love Facebook. And so I just want to, you know, because she, she, she talked to all these beautiful 
in drops of information. So I want to stop and just put some reminders in. So when you said that you got this connection that actually launched your business from a retreat, that is the value of these interpersonal experiences, you guys. You never know that what is going to be the next launch pad to take you to the next level of your life, to what's your next. So, you know, this is why I invited you here, Adrian. This is why I'm doing these interviews about the retreat, because you get to be with these women that are just incredible and on the journey to being the best version of themselves and stretching. And they're, like you said, they're supporting you, being your advocate instead of your adversary. So this isn't time to be in an environment of like-minded women who are focused on leveling up mentally, that's personal development, Physically, yes, we're going to be working out. She loves working out. We're going to be working out <laughs> uh, spiritually. We're going to be meditating and elevating ourselves, you know, holistically. So thank you so much for coming on and like motivating me. We could talk forever, but <laughs> <laughs> I want to keep these like a little bit short. And if you want to hang out with us, come in the retreat, right? So, so no, you totally. guys, there's going to be a link um, in the description box about the retreat and when you click on it, you know, read the link, read all the information. You know, when we do this, we take our time to kind of explain what the experience is like, but then go all the way through, put your email in, put your phone number in, and I will send you a text message and we can chat to see if it's a good fit. Because um, again, we want really positive and wonderful women who are there ready to take it to the next level. Thank you, Lee. Thank you. <laughs> All right, you guys, I'll talk to you later. Remember, check her out on Adrian Venable on Facebook if you need to take your business and your social media to the next level as well. Yay. Yay. Bye.